late 4th century, between 334 and 262, there was a Greek philosopher known as Zeno. Zeno was born in a place called Citrium. And you may not think that something that was said by a man so long ago would be relevant for us today, but it's a quote that I still hear even in our church circles, uh, that it's attributed to him. You see, his teachings have left a lasting impact. They, in fact, have been so impactful that uh, NASA decided to name one of the impact craters on the moon after him. It's called the Zenos, Zenos Crater. Well, the, one of the main teachings that we still remember of him is this particular quote where he says, Young man, nature has given us one tongue and two ears so that we may listen twice as much as we speak. Now, now that may seem like something that just naturally makes sense, but it was something that made quite a stir and continues to remind people that we need to actually take the opportunities to stop and to listen, to not speak without knowing all the facts. But Zeno is actually saying something that was written even long before him, so early on in the 4th century, we find in Proverbs, it's chapter 1, verse 20 through to 33, where it's labeled there, Wisdom's Rebuke. I'm not going to read it all because there's a fair few verses there, but feel free to, to check it out afterwards. But basically, the passage is written from the point of view of wisdom. Wisdom being a lady that's making this statement to mankind, that we need to, to stop and to listen to the wisdom that she has to offer the wisdom that comes from many years of experience some of the verses in there that particularly stand out is in verse 23 where it says repent at my rebuke then i will pour out my thoughts to you i'll make known my teachings that fits with what zeno writes that we need to actually stop relying on our own thoughts and our own wisdom we need to stop um, saying things and trying to make ourselves look smart and actually take the time to stop to recognize that we're not the smartest people in the world and that we all have something worth um, hearing we all have something that we need to hear to to learn from before we open our mouths when we take the time to stop and to listen we can actually grow in ourselves but it goes on um, in verse 30, since they would not accept my advice and spurn my rebuke, they will eat the fruit of their ways and will be filled with the fruit of their schemes. In other words, if we don't take the time to stop and to learn and to listen to the things that are going on around us, we'll pay the price for it. There's consequences for what we do. There's consequences for what we say. And we live in a time now where we, we recognize that more than ever, where litigation is so high and freedom of speech is is fairly limited and we only have to look to to places like facebook and that that will are willing to stop people from having a voice sometimes we need to stop having a voice and start listening instead the finishes but whoever listens to me um, will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm now that's not to say that nothing will ever go wrong in our lives or that um will never be in danger or anything like that but it means that we're far more likely to to stay out of trouble if we are acting wise if we listen to wisdom so that's our challenge to actually to close our mouths open our ears and learn god bless